It's hard to believe that well over a year has gone by since this reporter covered the Iowa straw vote in Ames, Iowa. And I remember being with my colleagues Linda Feldman of the Christian Science Monitor and Anna Angelke of German Radio meeting with local political leaders who were so upset that Texas Governor Rick Perry's entrance into the race was drawing attention away from what they said was the premier political event of 2011. Well, we've certainly come a long way since then. Back on January 1st, I was packing to join Pat Frank, who makes these videos possible and go to Iowa for its caucuses, the kickoff of the presidential year in the presidential year. Pat and I were in New Hampshire for the first in the year primary. We got some better weather in Florida covering Newt Gingrich right after he'd won in South Carolina, only to lose to Mitt Romney. And along with our colleague, Hope Hodge, we covered the Republican National Convention in Tampa, Florida this year. And then I went solo covering the end of the Democratic race in Charlotte in the convention that renominated Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Well, here we are on Tuesday, November 6th. Boy, it's been like a kaleidoscope watching all this year go by. Now I'll get to the point and make some predictions. Over the weekend, the momentum that Mitt Romney seemed to have lost after the superstorm Sandy came back to him in what appears to be a big way. Some of the states that had been written off tightened up. In Michigan, Governor Romney's home state, uh, he all of a sudden leads, according to a Channel 2 poll out of Detroit, 47 to 46 percent of the vote. That's incredible because it's the first time he's had a lead over Barack Obama. And in Minnesota, which has not given its electoral votes for a Republican since 1972, Governor Romney is actually in a tie. I spoke to Pat Shortridge, the Republican chairman. He really believes they're going to win. And in Pennsylvania, the Keystone State, which last went Republican for president back in 1988, it appears to be a tie. Some people said at one point that the Romney-Ryan campaign had written off Pennsylvania. Not so, said a lot of my friends in Lancaster County, who promised a big turnout, and apparently Governor Romney agrees with them. He's actually campaigning there after voting in Belmont, Massachusetts. Well, it's been quite a year. Mitt Romney will be elected president with 321 electoral votes. I also have said before, as readers of Human Events know, that the U.S. Senate will go Republican 52 to 48, and Republicans will increase their majority in the House of Representatives by 10 seats. Now, am I going to be the hero or the goat after this? We'll know in a few hours, and now you have it on the record.